Hi everyone! Based on my previous videos, we already have three different types of questions in our quiz now. A basic quiz type with text answers and image answers, and a true or false question with a single answer. So today, I'm going to show you how to play a game of Kahoot. Before launching our Kahoot games to our classes, let's go to our quiz and double check if we are missing something. Here we can see there are three questions, and if we click each of them, it will show different options and the right answer. We also have access to all the answers of questions in this game through a simple click on the top right corner. Here you can show all the answers. Now we are going to click the drop down menu and go to preview. As you can see, it is a pre-start page with some settings. You can see the teacher's view on your right. On the left is the student's view. From the teacher's view, on the top, we can see our quiz title. There are two modes we can play this game. If you prefer students to compete with one another, choose classic. If you want students to answer in teams, choose team. Then we can go to Game Options. There are some display and game settings we can adjust. For example, we can turn on this setting if we want to avoid inappropriate nicknames named by our students before entering into the game. We can also change lobby music to different styles. and randomize the order of questions or answers. Now we're ready for the game. Our students should have their own devices in hand. Let's go to classic mode. We have to ask them to go to the site or download the Kahoot application to use. Now you can hear the lobby music but because it's a little bit disturbing, I have to adjust its volume. So each Kahoot game has its own game pin for students to join. It is generated randomly. We can enter the game pin here and join the game from the student side. And pick a nickname. Now you can see my nickname is on the screen from the teacher's view. We can check if everyone's in based on the number of players here. After everyone enters the game, we can click start on the right to begin the quiz. Now the game is started. We can see the question is only shown on the teacher's screen. So you need to make sure every student in the classroom can read the question clearly. After reading, students need to go back to their devices and choose the answer within the time limit. Once they choose, they cannot change the answer. I'm showing you how it's going to look like when students do not answer the question. It's like that. So the correct answer will be shown directly right after each question. And we can see how many players got it right or wrong. The screen will stay on the page until you move on to the next question. So if you are not in a rush, I think it's a good timing for reviewing the question and checking if any student has a misunderstanding. You can click Show Media to show the image it included in the question again when reviewing. On the lower left corner, you can see the total number of questions in this quiz. On another side, it provides a game pin. So if some students accidentally left the game, they can rejoin it to catch up. Now we can click Next. So there will be a scoreboard between questions to show the current top scoring players, and points are given based on the accuracy and speed of answers. Let's go to the next question. So if this question is super easy and you find everyone has done, but there's still some time left, you can click skip here to avoid the wait time. 
so there will be different results shown on their screens depends on that the student answers or not or whether the answer is correct or not let's quickly go to the final question and finish our quiz so this one has more points so if we get it right we can get a higher score At the end of the Kahoot game, the podium will show the top three players or teams. Students can also see their personal results and rank from their screen. We can also see if there's any difficult question in the game based on participants' answers. Then we can get feedback from students. Students can rate this Kahoot game and provide their feedback here. And we are going to view the report generated from the game. So from the report, we can learn about the students who need help or did not finish answering questions. So that's all for Hosey and join again of Kahoot. Now we can go back to my Kahoot's page and hit play for the new game in our classrooms. I hope you learned something. We'll talk about another teaching resource next time.